Okay, well, it seems I have early access to 1.9, the new update and the brand new DLC. And today we're going to check it out. We're going to check out everything that's installed for this entire update, including the DLC. So I'll show you what parts of the game are free and then also what parts of the game are included in the Motorhead DLC that you see on the screen just now. I am very, very excited to jump into this. Also, we finally have a date for the release of the update and the DLC and that is the 15th of august i know insane so not too long that's six days away from this video being recorded and my predictions were that this update was going to come out at start of september but we're actually getting it way earlier than i predicted so you know what let's check out this new update all right so here's the new newsletter so you can pause the screen now guys if you want to uh give that a quick read it's all about racing this update so let's head over to race islands because the first thing i want to check out is the new section of the map the grand prix races okay here we are on the race island and oh wow the new grand prix island oh my god it's way bigger than i thought it actually looks huge like look at that it's actually i think it's just as big as the main race island so i'm definitely gonna have to try this out so access to this island is obviously free there are two races to this uh, island so there's a forward going version of this race and a backwards going version of this race so whichever way you want to go around the circuit then that's completely up to you we also have a pit stop and a helicopter pad with a spawn point which is nice so a very cool map indeed, but let's check out the pieces. So there are some pieces that are included in the DLC, which I haven't installed yet because I'm, I actually genuinely want to show you guys what is part of the DLC. So I don't have access to this just yet until I install the DLC, but as far as I'm aware, there's these brand new logic blocks. Okay. There's so many new logic gates. So if you're really into logic, then this is definitely for you. We have a new hue light panel as well. So it's definitely worth checking out. So we get all this new logic sensors and uh, gates for free. So it's nice to see that we have all of these new pieces. So in the aerodynamics, we do have some new pieces. We have these like rounded wedge corners which are pretty cool indeed. Let me uh, spawn them all in. So there's three different sizes of these. So there's obviously a two by two version, a uh, three by two by two, and a four by two by two. So I guess these can be pretty handy because you can like quickly transition from a block with, let's say, here we go. There's that side that you can connect with and then we can transition to a smaller rounded piece so it just provides just more dynamic building range i guess with this here i made whatever this is <laughs> That looks pretty goofy, but it's nice to see that we also get these blocks for free. Okay, we have some new frame pieces, but also most of them are in the DLC, but the free pieces are this windshield, which is very nice. Let's actually make that uh, see-through. Very nice. And then we also have these L brackets and a U bracket, which are just... I guess nice pieces to have. I do not mind having these in the game at all. They look great. All right, I'm going to quickly pull out a template car because I just want to show off some other free features that you probably didn't know they added. But that is the auto brake feature and the passenger seat option. So if we go into the seat here and go into configuration, there is a new toggleable setting called the passenger seat, which if you toggle that, it just turns the seat into a passenger seat. There's no steering wheel now. And if I get in... I cannot, like, have any inputs. My character's arms are just lounging around, actually, in fact. So, yeah, that's kind of unique. It won't let me go into the build mode. How unique. So, I'm pressing B right now to go into the build mode, and it actually won't let me. So, that's really cool, actually. Just If you don't want your passenger or your friend to constantly be putting you in the build mode as well, or, you know, potentially stealing your vehicle, then that's quite a cool option. But to get... It back into build mode just hop out of the seat obviously and if we turn that back on passenger seat we also have the new option for the auto brake feature so it's already toggled on it's on by default if i drive and let go of the settings you can see how i'm slowly coming to a stop like it's not <laughs> it's not that strong i don't think oh i didn't have my hood on the whole time guys my bad 
So yeah, it's it's slow, but let's see if I can change the settings now. So let's put the auto brakes off. And now the auto brakes are off. And I'm just going to keep rolling. The wheels will just keep spinning. So there is a different, there's a slight difference. I'm sure depending on what wheel you use too and how much engine power you have. It all depends on those different variables. But yeah. There's definitely a small difference, and it's just a handy setting to have in general. Well, I believe that's everything free, part of the 1.9 update, but let's go ahead and install the Motorhead DLC. All right, we are back, and the DLC has been installed. So let's go ahead and load up the Race Island map once again. There it is. It's under racing. That makes sense. And here we are. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and check out all of these new pieces. So... The first seat is the car seat. Would you look at this? Very, very cool indeed. I love the slim profile and look of this seat so far. It's like an even slimmer version of the operator seat, right? It's pretty much the same size in terms of space it takes, but it just looks a little bit more slim in terms of design. So that's a very nice addition to our seat collection. And then next we have the racing seat, which this is the roll cage seat, right? For an F1 car. This looks incredible. It's actually way bigger than I thought it would be. Like, like what's that? Five across, three up, four across this way. And it weighs 25 kg. You know what? That's actually quite light. You know what? Let's really quick just check out the first person view. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah there we go there's the steering wheel okay next seat whoa that's pretty cool i like that steering wheel nice and snazzy now we can move on to the frame section and this is where we get the fenders look guys wow so we have this fender this one is the small fender which um will go over a wheel right and it just goes above like that there's no possible way to get the wheel in but I mean, that still looks really good, to be honest. But that's the small fender. We have the medium fender. That's medium? What? That's crazy. That's for, like, the truck wheel, I guess. And then, last but not least, we have the large fender. And this is the big boy. This is the one for the, like, monster truck wheel, right? Yeah, look at that. It's, like, perfect. So, not bad blocks. They do look very, very nice. And our last two pieces here are the long hood and the modern hood. So these are hood pieces for the front of your car, I guess. Yeah, they definitely are. That looks really nice by itself. Okay, the long hood. I definitely can see myself using this block. And the modern hood, which is a more sleek version of the... I, wow, you know what? This hood looks really nice. Dude, I can already imagine myself making a sports car with this, you know? Remember, guys, this is all included in the DLC. All of this. These new blocks. Moving on to the mechanic tab. We have the racing hinge. So here it is. It is a hinge. Now, apparently... We're going to do a quick test here. Apparently, this hinge is also supposed to be suspension. That's what it's supposed to do in real life on like an F1 car, these racing hinges. So if I spawn this in, I'm not sure, guy. like, that's hard to tell right there. We have a new suspension piece, the large suspension. This thing is massive, what? Okay, so here's the irregular suspension piece, and then you have the large <laughs> suspension piece. Why is it so big? That is like ridiculously big. Definitely some kind of monster truck deal going on with this type of suspension. But yeah, another welcome addition to the game. Is that everything in the mechanics tab? I believe so. So that's the new racing hinge and the new large suspension piece. All right, into lift and drag, and we've got some brand new spoilers and stuff. So we have the front wing. Wow, that is a nice looking piece indeed. This one is definitely for an F1 car. So this will go on the front. We have a rear wing. So another spoiler. This one looks awesome as well. It's pretty decently sized. Here's the original spoiler for comparison. So this one is like four across. Whereas this rear wing is six across. And then we have the supercar spoiler. Look at this one. This one is the biggest of the bunch out of the spoilers. 
And this spoiler is eight across. We have three new pieces. These are the three new pieces in the lift and drag tab. And finally, we have the pop-up car light. <laughs> I don't actually know how it functions. Okay, so you can put an input in it. And if I just connect a seat to this, I'm guessing this is as, as simple as putting an input in this. Let's go for... Yeah, there we go. And there it is. Wow. That's a really nice block. Look how nice that is. Pop up light. A pop up headlight. And it also looks like you can change the color of the light itself. So if I go for red for my secondary right. Yeah, you get a red light. And that is all of the brand new pieces in this DLC. But other than pieces, we also have new cosmetics and new textures. So let's go ahead and check them out. So we're just going to take this long hood, go into our tints. And here's our new first one is matte. So it just gets away all the shiny and glossiness. So it's just straight matte, which is nice. We have carbon fiber. To give your cars or builds that nice carbon fiber look. That is a very detailed texture. Wow, I actually love the look at this. This looks very clean. Then we have metallic. Oh, this one's really pretty. Look at that. Oh yeah, these, these textures, we definitely needed them. Okay, that's a metallic. And then finally, we have iridescent. I think I pronounced that right. Whoa. This is like a pearlescent. So your secondary color shines through depending on the angle. Now, nah, now nah, that's definitely the prettiest texture. Like I have, if I put that pink look and then go for a light blue secondary, you can see both of the colors shining through depending on the angle you look at it and how the light hits it. That is so pretty. Okay. Yeah, so we needed those. There's also a new little icon here. Set selected color and skin as default. Oh, so I guess now when I build, all of my blocks are in this new metallic look because I set it as default. So that's really impressive. Nice little quick feature they added there. And finally, we have some decals to look at. 50 new decals to look at. So here's the first one. A Power Core Energy Systems logo. Another version of that logo. We have a Cosmo Corp logo, another version of that logo as well, a cleaner one. Melvin's livery. <laughs> nice shout out to Melvin and his mushrooms. Another Melvin, Grip King. Here's another one, Grip King. Quantumol. I'm guessing this is the fuel company in the game. Here's another one too. A license plate. We got some headlights now. A circular headlight, a double headlight, a turn signal headlight, and a triple headlight. That's my favorite decal so far. Look at, look at the rainbow here effect here on this decal. And finally, the outfits. We need to check out the outfits. We have a couple new outfits in the game. We have the race driver outfit. Wow. And the trucker outfit. Okay, <laughs> let me change my hat here. So we got the race driver helmet. And then we got the trucker hat. So if you wanted to be a trucker, there you go. But I think what's definitely more hype is the race driving outfit like look at this number 42 baby let's go <laughs> i have my new blocks i have my new outfit but the only thing i don't have is a new car so let's go ahead and build a quick f1 car and here it is i literally just smacked this together in not even five minutes that's how easy it is to make an f1 car now so i literally most of these pieces are just default presets now so there's the seat there's a front wing, a spoiler, the rest is just a frame, some wheels, and some engines. So very, very, very easy to put together. But you know what? I'm super eager to get out on this racetrack. So shall we try it? Yes, we shall. Let's get into position. All right, here we go. It's first time testing out the track and this car. <laughs> oh my god. God, no way. We almost totaled this already. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think I'm too top-heavy. <laughs> okay, it may be easy building an F1 car, but it's definitely not easy fine-tuning it and driving it. I'm doing a terrible job. At least I'm getting practice, though. 
All right, you know what? Really quick, I'm going to have to put some weights in this thing. All right, maybe those weights might help. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, okay, a little bit too much help. It's hard to not drift. I'm not trying to drift. Maybe I need some vertical stabilizers or something. Some new modifications to stop the drifting. Two vertical stabilizers on the back, producing drag. Those should help me now. Oh my god. Okay, this isn't the, this isn't a perfect F1 car. But you know what? This track is so fun already. It's huge. Like this track is so big. I don't even think I'm over halfway done yet, you know what I mean? Oh right! The new collision physics! Those feel really good. I'm not getting like completely broken straight away and when I'm crashing like it's pretty seamless now you can just kind of get out of it really quickly so that's the last thing that i that's part of this update that is definitely going to be game changing is the collision physics so now when you you know collide into things and other builds your builds won't freak out and they'll have a more realistic collision i guess which will be perfect for multiple things say for example battle bots beyblades just like all out demo derbies it's gonna be awesome guys oh i think we're nearly there i think we're nearly finished yeah turning right here we go overdrift again it's a good job that timer kind of cancelled out because i don't even want to know my time my current time on this track but there we go past the finish line and yeah okay very nice but yeah, super fun DLC and update. It's coming out on the 15th of this month as of posting this video. Really hope I showed you all the new pieces well and that I've hyped you all for the uh, update coming in a few days. My overall expectations for this update have been satisfied. So I am very happy with everything they've added. And I think we've been needing a down to earth racing style update for a while now. But yeah, guys, definitely let me know what was your favorite part of today's review. What was your favorite block or feature and i'll definitely check them out in the comments down below and while you're at it why not consider subscribing it's free but anyway that's enough from me and i'll see you guys in the next one bye